What's going on PC building community? Today we are unboxing in my opinion the best PC case under 1500 pesos. The Rack Alpas Gaming Case. This case cost around 1400 pesos at the time of filming. Getting it out of the box reveals the acrylic side panel and opening it shows standard screws, standoffs, three velcro straps, and a couple of twist ties. The Alpas comes in an ATX form factor and here it is next to my Fractal Design Mesh VIC for size comparison. The front I.O. is pretty standard, you got your power and reset buttons, headphone and microphone jacks, a lone USB 3 port and two USB 2 ports. The front panel has a thin dust filter that extends the height of the case and can be detached by pulling it out from the bottom. It has four 120mm fan mounts, one on the rear, mainly for exhaust, three at the front, which are already populated by three 120mm RGB fans with 14 lighting modes, which can be controlled by the reset switch if you do connect them through the front panel connector. The space on the right side of the motherboard tray can accommodate two 2.5-inch SSDs or HDDs, while the case floor can support either a 2.5-inch SSD or a 3.5-inch hard drive. Here you can also find a 90mm fan mount, but keep in mind you have to punch the four holes for it. For those planning to use an aftermarket CPU cooler and a beefy graphics card, the maximum CPU cooler height is 160mm and the maximum clearance for the GPU is 240mm. Liquid cooling is an option, a 240 rad can be installed in the front although it will shorten the GPU clearance. A 120mm rad can also be installed on the rear. The Rack Alpas sports 7 PCI slots with covers that are detachable by bending but cannot be attached again which leaves the PCI slot open forever. The slots also has this annoying metal bracket that needs to be placed first before you can screw your GPU or any PCIe card. So with all the basics out of the way, let's build a system in the Alpas.
So after building in the rack I'll pass, we can now conclude that this is really a budget case that stands out. It supports ATX boards, it comes pre-installed with three 120mm RGB fans, a standard interior, decent cable routing behind the motherboard tray, and a straightforward approach to PC building. Apart from minor design flaws, this case is really a good value. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a case you would consider if you're building on a budget or do you prefer other brands? Toss a like if you find this review informative. Leave a comment on what you think of this case review and I'll see you all next time.